Hi, and welcome to today's introduction on UFT1's AI features. UFT1's AI features enable your test to interact with the application you're testing in the same way a person would. UFT1 uses AI to identify objects visually based on a wide variety of images, context, and sometimes text. For example, UFT1 AI can identify many types of search fields, user profile areas, input fields, buttons, shopping carts, and more. The advantages of using AI-based object identification are many. AI-based tests are easier to create and edit. Because the test scripts are more intuitive, and you don't have to be an automation guru to create them, this means more of the team can contribute to building automation. A single script can run across multiple environments. Because these tests are technology agnostic, identifying objects visually, regardless of the technology details used behind the scenes. This means you're creating and maintaining less overall automation assets, saving precious time. And by increasing your test resilience, these tests are easier to maintain, as an object changing location, framework, or even shape won't break the test script as long as the object remains visually similar or its purpose remains clear. All of these things combine to provide you with the return the business is looking for and more from investing in automation. You can add AI-based steps in a number of ways. On the mock-up images tab of the AI inspection window, on the live application tab of the AI inspection window, from the object identification center or object spy, by using AI record, or manually editing your test. Let's start by inspecting application mockups and identifying objects to use in the test. This enables teams to design and prepare tests even before the application is fully developed. As you can see, this is not a live application. These are just mockups. In this case, PNG images. So let's go through and capture the login process. And because UFT AI identifies objects and text by way of computer vision, like a human would, there is no dependence on underlying application object technologies or properties. So first, let's select the user profile icon and add it to the test. We can also select the desired context in which we can identify objects visually. Then we'll enter the username and password into the appropriate fields. and add to the test. But wait, this button in the mockups reads sign in instead of login, which is what, according to the user story, it will be in the live application. Won't this break the script? Absolutely not. UFT AI is smart enough to know that, for example, sign in, login, log space in are all synonymous and will overcome that inconsistency, just as you or I would have no problem overcoming that inconsistency as humans. Now we have received notification that our application is live and we can execute our script that we created based off of the mockups. And our test has successfully executed. UFTAI also provides the ability to record test steps. Now that our application is live, let's take a look at the full process of selecting a product, adding it to the shopping cart, going through the checkout and payment process, verify the order was successful, and log out of the application. We'll select the context in which we want to scan objects with UFT AI. We'll select popular items. We'll select the HP Roar speaker 
Here we can see that multiple objects of type right triangle have been identified. But because UFT AI is intuitive, we can improve AI-based test object identification by associating text with objects, describing controls using images, and, as in this case, we can identify objects by relative location. This right triangle is the first instance of this object from the right of the screen. and add our HP Roar Plus wireless speaker to the cart. And check out. Now that we've paid, we want to insert a checkpoint or a verification step so that we can verify that our order was successful. Here, we want to be able to verify that our order number was produced. Here, we can add our checkpoint. And now we want to sign out with the application. From here, we're going to make one update. Since we'll have different scenarios with different products and thus different prices, let's modify our step for selecting the checkout so that the checkout button can be selected regardless of the price that's associated with it. In this case, we'll allow AI to find this object by text. And now we can run our test to go through the process of signing into the application, adding our product to the cart, checking out, verifying our order success, and signing out of the application. Great, our test is successfully passed, and we can see all of the steps and step results, the screenshot and highlight of the object selected by our AI, and finally, our checkpoint verification step that our order was successfully submitted. Now, what if we need to modify our test by adding a step or steps to the test? For example, if we want to check the remember me box during the login process, we don't have to go back through and record again. We could manually add a line to our test, or we can use the AI inspection tool to quickly grab the object, assign it to an operation, and add it to the test. Let's go ahead and run our test up until the point where we need to check the remember me box And now, using the AI inspection, let's identify and add it to the test. Finally, 
UFT AI can also help transform existing properties-based tests into AI-based tests using the AI Transformation Assistant. When existing UFT tests are run, AI will inspect each application screen and object being used in the test and suggest which steps can be converted to AI-based steps. As you can see in the results, the AI Transformation Assistant will even provide the actual line to put into the script. Making not only the creation of new tests using AI easy, but also transforming existing assets into AI-based tests to gain the benefits of AI in UFT1. To summarize, by using the AI capabilities in UFT1, Testing teams can cut down on the time it takes to create automated tests, put the power of automation into the hands of technical and non-technical users, and enable the creation of resilient tests, reducing the number of changes or maintenance that needs to be performed on the test. All these combined, allowing teams to gain the ROI that is expected and much more from building automation. Be sure to check out the online help at admhelp.microfocus.com forward slash UFT for more insightful information, tutorials, and videos to help you on your journey to building an intelligent and resilient automation. Thanks.